What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, as always. I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. All right, so um, I was eating dinner, and I got a message from Philly 500. You know, we put out a video a few days ago about Philly 500, sending thoughts and prayers to him because he was dealing with COVID. And he was actually supposed to be in Florida uh, doing some, taking care of some business here. But because he is now on house arrest of, you know, house COVID arrest, he is there going kind of crazy. Now, he says he's feeling better, but I'm afraid that this might be a new symptom that he has. I think it's kind of gone to the brain. So let's listen into some of what he had to say. Um, basically, he's scared. And he's beginning to walk things back. You know, he's been talking about, this is the greatest offseason in the history of the Eagles and everything else. We're going to win the division. Now it's kind of like, we should win the division. This was a really good offseason. Well, we're ready for the season. It's like, oh, you're trying to walk that shit back now. You're trying to walk it back now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. You're doing an A.J. Brown. I don't know about All Star. We're pretty good, but I don't know about All Star. Yeah, okay. So let's listen into Philly on COVID. I do not want to see the Cowboys do. Uh oh. Now Dallas still. He, he kind of goes on and on and on till the break. Don't wait the way thing back here. I hope everybody's mm -hmm. having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. This has been the greatest off season for the Philadelphia Eagles in the, my lifetime that I can remember. And we're about two weeks away from it being over and training camp starting. And I can't wait. You can't wait. That's when the nightmare begins. See. He'll wake up and realize they're not that good. It is going to be unbelievable. Now, I have high expectations for the Philadelphia Eagles this year. Super, super high expectations. But high is the key word there. <laughs> Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> there are other teams in this division that are going to be fighting us for this division. And if the Dallas Cowboys make this one proposed move, it could be a problem for you. I was like, what proposed okay. move are you talking now, about? Before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe for daily Eagles content, NFL daily okay. content. He's and if you've been right, I don't feel sick. I still have like a cough and some chest congestion. But you're delusional, I'm though. Kind of like bored and going out of my mind. At the same time, I'm really, right? I don't feel sick. I still have like a cough and some chest congestion, but I'm, I'm kind of like bored and going out of my mind. Going At out of his time, mind. I'm really tired. Like I'm very fatigued. That's the worst part of this whole thing right now. But I just took a, a COVID test just to see if I was still, if I still had it, if I could finally start leaving the house. And I'm still positive. It's so frigging annoying but at least it's happening now and not when training camp starts because as soon as training camp starts it's like boom 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 live stream live stream boom 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 video so we're gonna be busy but it's been a long week man i am so ready for training camp to start i cannot wait and i have high expectations for this week. very 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 high expectations okay when i when i look at the division very high i'll just say this right now when I look at the division, I think the Eagles should win it. They should win it, should and win. we'll talk a little bit more about that should later. Win. But I also had Washington finishing second and Dallas finishing third. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. The Giants, <laughs> well, they're going to they're finish in last place. They stink. There are reports coming wow. out that Saquon Barkley doesn't even know how to play running back position because all he ever does is go for home runs. They're sour on that guy, man. Ooh. They are sour on him. But I think the Giants are going to stink. I think the battle is going to be between the Eagles, Washington, and Dallas. Now, but thinks Washington, Dallas, he me, still believes in Carson Wentz. Step back, in my own opinion, okay? Even if their defense, okay, let's say go. their defense, for argument's sake, let's say it got slightly better, uh -huh. I think their offense has gotten slightly worse, okay? I, I, not slightly worse. 
Uh, they haven't gotten the like Eagles' Eagles worse yet, have they? Guys on the offensive line. They've also lost weapons, okay? They lose Amari Cooper. Gallup is coming back from injury. He's hurt right now. Then you lose Cedric Wilson, right? So now I think the passing game for Dallas is going to take a few steps. We don't know. I don't know how many tons Zeke Elliott weighs at this point, but I don't know if he's the same running back he was tons. a few years he was, ago. Pollard that was never his back. problem. Okay, and I like the tight end. I like Schultz. Um, but I don't know if Dallas is going to have – the prolific I don't know the key word, but... that they've had in years past. Okay, so I think they take a step I think, back I there. Think, I think. Okay, now there was a trade proposal Here comes. from Bleacher Report talking about the Dallas Cowboys and something that they could do. Now, when I started reading it, I got to tell you, it started making me feel sick in my stomach, like really sick in my stomach. Like sure, it's not the COVID. Like, like more sick than having COVID is. This article, okay, but I have to talk about it because if Dallas was to do this, the Dallas Cowboys could very well win this division because all of a sudden, to me, they their offense becomes prolific again, okay? And here it is. Seahawks unload ex-pro bowler and blockbuster trade proposal. Do you know who I'm from yesterday. talking about, right? You know who I'm talking about. We are talking about one DK... Metcalf, the Seattle Seahawks uh -huh. trading DK Metcalf okay. to the Dallas Cowboys, in my opinion, would be a problem. It would be a problem for the Eagles. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Here's here's what they if you're say. You scared? Say right? you're scared. The Seattle Seahawks could unload arguably their top player for assets, according to a trade proposal list from Bleacher Reports. Alex K. One of the blockbuster scenarios. See the Seahawks. Let me stop right there. Your fears are unfounded there, Philly 500. I ain't never heard of no Alex K and him proposing like, like he actually works for the Dallas Cowboys, okay? He don't. He don't work for Catboy. The Cowboys ain't trading for shit. They're not signing free agents for shit, okay? Yes, we brought in an MVP. From the USFL. But don't worry. You got plenty of other things to be scared of, Philly. You got plenty of other things. Because my quarterback, unlike yours, see, my quarterback, if you took what your quarterback threw for touchdown passes last year, if you doubled them, doubled them, Phil, doubled them, it's still not enough. You could double what that jackass did and still add another five to him. Yeah, that's what my guy did on one leg with a hurt shoulder and a messed up offensive line and a wide receiver that checked out and two running backs, two running backs that were both on one leg. Now, you can hope, you can pray that the Dallas Cowboys are taking a step back, son, son, and I do say son. You need to go to the doctor because that COVID, it's eating up your brain. But I tell you what there, Philly. The Cowboys offense may take a little momentary step back, but I still don't believe that's going to happen. I believe 12 personnel is going to become in vogue. I believe that our offensive line is going to be better without the penalty magnets that we had in Connor Williams and Lyle Collins. You know those two guys right there? Just those two guys. 23 penalties 23 just those two guys and lyle collins if you actually look at it billy the best time of our offensive line last year was when lyle collins was actually out for a suspension that's a fact that's a fact but you know it's all good philly the dream off season that you have, and I'm go I'm, I'm happy for it, son. I like seeing you happy there. I like seeing you happy. Don't worry, we're not getting DK Metcalf. We know Catboy doesn't do moves like that. Even though you're right, that would definitely make the Cowboys an odds-on Super Bowl favorite. Having a weapon like that, a guy that's an absolute beast. But we don't do that. We're the Cowboys. We them boys. <sighs> Hope you feel better soon, son. The season. 
It's getting close. And you know how we roll, bro. Um, I, I can't play. The clip I want to play evidently has your address on it. So I can't play that one. Damn. Damn. But, but, but I can do this one. I'm going to pull that down. And, and I'll see you later, son. Everybody do it. Can't take back here. And so before we start this video, I got to get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my daddy. 